we're just going to continue um, uh, drawing basic shapes and we're going to start with basic shapes and then we're, we're going to look at objects that we find around the house maybe that have similar shapes to the our basic shapes. So the instructions on I learn and on the handouts are you know pretty elaborate, but essentially it's not it's not that complicated. The, there is a handout, and I just printed it out for you, which is the eight and a half by eleven. Uh, use that to copy onto larger format. Okay, so right now, just take that and make this fourteen by seventeen. Uh, trying to center them more or less in the same in the same space. It's a little bit. The ratio is going to be slightly different, so you might need to space them a little more. Um, okay. Then for the uh, for the next one, so this is for, it calls, it's called copying. Here, for tracing, if you took this and put it underneath here, your drawing is going to be actually a little small within the 14 by 17, which is okay if you absolutely have to do it like that. I mean, we could enlarge it on the Xerox machine, but... Um, and, yeah, so don't worry about being too much space around it, okay? And then the third one, we're going to take three objects from this drawing and we're going to make them larger. And in these ones you can see that there's already quite a bit of detail. Um, worry more about the structure rather than just the specific details and all the de decorative stuff. Um, so I'm just going to repeat a few things for everyone because I know some of you are still struggling a little bit with verticals, uh, ellipses. So we'll just say again that in general you might want to start your uh, the angles for your objects if they're square objects at around 30, 30. Okay? Around. Uh, you can see these are actually three different ones. So this may be maybe 40 and this may be maybe 20. Um, this looks like the same, I'm not sure. But anyway, they're slightly different. Um, but they're all about the same. Uh, for ellipses, once again, if the object is just sitting, well, in this case, it will be sitting flat on an horizontal surface, so your ellipse have to be horizontal, okay? That means that the vertical of your object has to be parallel to the vertical of your drawing paper. And then for this triangular object, the one thing you need to pay attention to is the, because we're assuming that it's symmetrical, like a tent, like a you know, single tent, what you want to do is take your, your midpoint there um, and just raise that. And that's where your, um, where your lines are going to go, so that this line is longer than this because of the view, right? Because of the angle view. Um, that's about it. And so here is just practicing how to do, you know, crossing the lines um, and keep the drawing, you know, kind of fresh. So, so for the first assignment, just do more of the same in a way. In a way, we have already done these shapes, right? But let's just draw more. And let's practice on, once again, holding your pencil about two-thirds of the way down so that it leaves you room to use your hand as a, as a guide. Uh, and again, all these rules, I mean, if you have a better way for, for doing it, I don't care, right? I mean, I, this is just sort of in general, that's probably what you should do. Um, and then try to keep, most of the time, keep your pencil straight with your arm, okay? And work from your shoulder. Um, so don't let, don't let the wrist Uh, rest on the table when you're drawing, okay? Don't do that because that forces you then to make your your motion go this way instead of go, going this way, okay? Um, and then just move the paper around for whatever you need, okay? So if I want to start, uh, let's say I want to do my three cubes, the simplest way for me is knowing that that's my border is to just draw, you know, really three sets of lines 
and maybe I do two that are slightly different. I'm not looking at my drawing now. I should probably. I mean, at the handout. Yeah. Just making it a little bit different. And I'm going a little off. Uh, and then you just do your other lines. Right? So here, the angle is probably a little bit different. So just turn your paper around as you need, okay? In a way, you kind of want to like, before I draw that line, oh, this is so light, let me turn it a little bit. Um, before I do this line here, I just kind of tr slightly, you know, go over this one, even though I'm not drawing yet. Okay, and then I do like that. Okay, and if you're still having trouble with the ellipses, I would just say, just practice, okay? Just, just do a few lines like this. And then maybe you want to do some crossings like that. So this could be, of course, on separate, you know, on separate paper. By the way, let's still stick to uh, bond paper, uh, which is, uh, yeah, that's the name of it. So if you get a pad of um, 14 by 17 bond, that's good. Uh, one quick tip on if you're using a smaller pad to sketch, actually even a bigger one, is to, uh, in other words, if you haven't detached the sheet from the pad, is to fold your, um, your cover about two inches or so in uh, with a straight sharp fold so that when you, when you fold it, it stays nice and flat. Okay, that's a nice little trick. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it's gonna, it's gonna keep pushing your paper up. Um, so anyway, ellipses. Just practice, 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 okay? <laughs> It's funny that when you do a cross like this, you know, through the ellipse, even if the ellipse is like not perfect, it kind of looks good anyway. <laughs> so, um, so practice doing really long ones and then, you know, little feather ones. And once again, most of the time you probably are going to do ellipses that are about you know, twice as wide as they're tall. You know, so if that's one, it's two. So two to one would be the ratio. Um, and then for the triangles, again, let's see if they're all the same. I can't remember. Uh, looks like they are. Yeah. They're all in the same. Uh, in the same orientation, but you could practice changing that a little bit too. So, so again, for the triangles, find your midpoint. Pretty much eyeball it. And raise your vertical. Maybe I'm going to do different sizes. Um, and then just decide. And then you, then at that point, you have all the information that you need. Just keep the same motion. And then to finish off the drawing, if you want, um, oops. you 
could go in with the, uh, you know, with a ruler and, and make this a little bit, a little bit darker, maybe. Not much you can. Oops. Broke that. Okay. So the, in effect, the drawing underneath functions as a little, you know, as a little base drawing. And once again, when you do this and you cross, just come up on your way up, on your way out, and on your way in, just, just kind of you know, gently start and then make it darker. All right, so that's about it for today. I'm just gonna say a couple of things about pencils again. So I don't have the ones that I'm saying in the handout to get, but um, the two colors that are pretty good are as a kind of monochromatic uh, and so you can get very thin or color I don't know if I spelled this right race so these are uh, harder okay and usually their shape is like that And so it's kind of like pencils, except they're colored. Um, whereas later, when we uh, when we do more um, shading, you might want to use uh, Prisma colors. Okay. You could use Prisma color now if you wanted to. It's just a different feel, uh, and Prisma colors around. At the same time, you can still keep using pencils, and so HB and H maybe. Um, and in addition to these colors, of course, you can have black as well. Um, if you use pencil, I wouldn't go over with the colored pencil on top, meaning, you know, just regular graphite. I wouldn't go over that with a colored pencil. I would try to stick to um, the same, you know, medium for this. Okay, um, I think that's it for now. So, do you guys have any questions? Um, yeah, one thing, if I forget to post this, like after a couple of days, just send me an email and say, oh, could you post the video? Okay, because sometimes I just don't have time and I sometimes forget. 